do you know that respiration is the exchange of gases within the cells and their environment? It refers to the uptake of molecular oxygen from the environment and the discharge of carbon dioxide to the environment. This process supports the production of adenosine triphosphate or ATP during cellular respiration. And now, let us discuss about respiratory system. I'm H and H, the, the science, science enthusiast. Science lessons. For today's video, we are going to describe the parts and functions of respiratory system. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. <laughs> respiratory system is a biological system consisting of specific organs and structures used for gas exchange in animals and plants. And here are the parts of respiratory system and its functions. The first part is the nose or the nostrils. The two openings in the nose are called nostrils or nares. It serves as passageways of air into the body. The next part is throat or pharynx. Air from the nasal passages enters the throat and passages over adenoids and tonsils. Next is glottis. It is the slit-like opening into the larynx, a flap composed of cartilage called epiglottis. It covers the glottis, preventing swallowed food from entering the lower respiratory tract. And we also have trachea. Rings of cartilage in the walls of the windpipe keep the air passage open. It is like nasal passage that has cilia, push mucus and any other material in it toward the throat. From there, mucus is coughed out. Next is we have the lungs. There are two lungs in the body. It is large, elastic, spongy sac. Pleura secreted a fluid that prevents friction between the lungs and the chest wall. Wow! Bronchi and bronchioles. Bronchi are two large hollow branches. Bronchioles are bronchus branches that is smaller microscopic tubes. And the last is diaphragm. It is a dome-shaped muscle separates the chest from the abdomen. During inhalation, the diaphragm contracts and moves downward to give more space to the lungs. During exhalation, the diaphragm returns to its normal shape and position. And that's our science lessons for today. Please like and subscribe for more science lessons. Bye!